If you're using a DigiGrid DLS or DLI with a Pro Tools HDXL or HDX system, then make sure that the switches on the back of your unit are both set to I.O. And the DLS or DLI needs to be connected either directly to the AVID card or to a DigiLink enabled I.O. in the expansion port. If you're launching Pro Tools for the first time after installing SoundGrid Studio, this window preference will pop up. Enable HD and HDX mode. Untick the rest of the boxes. If, however, this window has popped up before and you haven't selected it properly and you've clicked Don't Ask Again, hold down the Shift key while you're launching Pro Tools the next time and this window will pop up again. Once your DAW is open, select your AVID card as your playback engine. You need to reserve channels from your IOs for Studio Rack IO inserts. This is done from SoundGrid Studio in this setup window. Heading back over to Pro Tools, let's click on the IO setup. Set or confirm the names of your insert paths while you're in here so you know which ones to access, then press OK. Your DigiGrid DLS or DLI will be identified as 192 digital units in this window. Open an I.O. insert with the associated 192 digital path as set up earlier in the I.O. setup. To get to Studio Rack in HD or HDX systems, you'll find it in your TDM or AAX DSP dropdowns. Next, open the I.O. insert dropdown menu in Studio Rack HD. Select the same name insert as chosen on the track in Pro Tools. This configuration enables SoundGrid to virtually send the signal of a track to the SoundGrid server in your DLS. A great advantage of using Studio Rack HD in your HD or HDX system is that you can track and record with all your Wave SoundGrid plugins active on the low latency DSP path, like all your other AAX DSP plugins. If you're using a DLI which does not come with built-in DSP processing, to get DSP through Studio Rack, you'll need to buy an external SoundGrid server.